Hola, it's Senora Huey, and it's time for Spanish. Welcome back. And Clase de Pita, welcome. Bienvenidos. Repita. Bienvenidos. Welcome back. Okay, Clase, and bienvenidos means welcome. All right, now, let's do our buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches, son. Let's get you a little warmed up in the Spanish. You've been gone. I haven't talked to you since when? June. All right, let's go. Repito, Clase. Buenos dias, buenos dias. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Now, after good morning, we're going to have good afternoon, which is what? Tardes. Let's go. Buenas tardes, buenas tardes. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. And after that, we have good night. Time to go to bed. We say what? Noches. Let's go. Buenas noches, buenas noches. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Ole, vámonos. Now, let's do a little quick review. Of just a little something you can say so you can speak some Spanish today, all right? Now, this is something you know. I know you know. If you're new or not new, you can read these. Let's go. Hello. We're going to say, clase. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? My name is, me llamo Señora Huey. But here you put your name. Me llamo. Good. How you doing? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? You know that the little accent means your voice goes up. ¿Cómo estás? Now, I ask how you doing, so we have three choices. One, you're going to be doing fine, doing well. We're doing not so-so, then not so good. Okay, let's do fine. Let's do well. Casi bien. Bien, mm, so so, así, así, accent the I, así, así, all right, I'm not doing so good, ooh, clase pito, mal, no mal, okay, not good, all right, now, muy bien, and then we say goodbye, adios, adios, now, manners, let's see what we have here, now, class, I'm going to ask you, first of all, how old are you, clase pito, Cuantos, that first word is how many, how old. Cuantos años tienes? Actually saying how many years do you have? In America, we say how old are you? Clase, cuantos años tienes? You should be able to say a little bit faster. Yeah, I'm going fast today. Mm -hmm. Cuantos años tienes? Well, I know I go fast every day. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't do slow. Clase, cuantos años tienes? All right. Now we're going to be six years old today. Clase, tengo seis años. Tengo seis años. I have six years. All right, but then when I come back again, you should, if I see you, you should be telling me your actual age. Okay, you know your numbers. Uh, we're going to go with those two. Uh, class A, now please, por favor, por favor. Okay, and thank you. Class A, gracias. Oh, you yeah. gra, 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 gracias. And then we say, well, I have one friend that's a boy, amigo. Okay, we say, hola, amigo. Hey, friend. Or if it's a girl, we say, amiga. Hola, amiga. Hi, friend. That's a girl. Muy bien. More than one over here. The two of them together, we say, what? Well, amigo. So, the boy is what? Amigo. The girl is amiga. Together is what? Amigos. Now, to say yes, we say si. Now, you have to say accent si. You can't say si. You must say si. Because the si means something different. And if I say no, you can't forget it. No. Very good. Then we say, I'll see you later. If I say hasta luego. Hasta luego. That's your quick review. Now, clase, es el mes de octubre. Clase, es el mes, you're going to tell me, es el mes de octubre. It is the month of October. Es el mes de octubre. Okay? Es el mes de octubre. It is the month of October. Es el mes de octubre. Repita. Es el mes de octubre. Se lo fecha. Es el mes de octubre. Excelente. Now, you say, it, it, this October is in the fall. You can do this in Spanish. Octubre está en, say it. Octubre está en el otoño. That's fall. El otoño. Octubre. Octubre está en el otoño. October is in the fall. Octubre está en el otoño. Again, put together. Octubre está en el otoño. Ah, excelente. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Now, classy, you see this banner behind me? All these countries' names on here. 
Adivina que veces. Guess what month this is? This is Hispanic Heritage Month. That means anybody of Spanish speaking origin, okay? And they're all listed here behind me. And you're going to be able to say everyone and its capital city. Woo! Ole! We're going to go through it quickly today and we're going to concentrate on, okay, so how many you can remember, okay? Because they're actually 20, you know, there are 21 countries that speak Spanish as their main, main language. Let's go with the first one. You all know this. Casa de Pita. Mexico. Now, the idea is here in Spanish, is pronounce the words correctly the way the Spaniards would. Now, if you say Mexico, you can say Mexico, you can speak someone in English, but okay, in Spanish, you should say what? Mexico. And your accent E, Mexico. And the capital, Mexico, is Casa Ciudad de Mexico. Repeat that. Ciudad de Mexico. Holy. All right, let's go through these today, okay? And do it again next week because it ends next week. Here we go. Casa de Pita. Puerto Rico. Now, we can't say no Puerto Rico. We can't say it anymore. We know it's pronounced what? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. And its capital is San Juan. Got it. All right. Class say next country is, the próxima mes es, uh, país is, class say, Panama. Accent A. Panama. And its capital is Panama. Right? It's called La Ciudad de Panama or Panama City. All right. Next one is, class say, you have it, right? Don't you say Chile? Chile. This is Chile. Uh huh. That's a Chile. And the scalp is San Diego. Excellent. We're going through today to see if you can pronounce the words. All right. Now, class A, next one is El Salvador. El Salvador. And the scalp is San Salvador. All right. Next country, class A. Can you pronounce this one for me? What I tell you? Did you get it? Let's see if you got it right. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Okay, and its capital is, capital is Managua. Managua. All right. All right. Now we have the next one going to be crossing. Guatemala. Guatemala. And its capital is Guatemala. Capital, Guatemala City is the capital. Easy one. Oh, this is one going to give you some. Yeah, think about this one. H is always here. Silent. Okay, therefore, I go here because I say Honduras. Honduras, and would you look at the capital city? Ah, Casa de Pizza, Tegucigalpa. <laughs> Tegucigalpa. Tegucigalpa is the capital city of Honduras. Hmm? Bueno, now, here we go. All right. The country is Uruguay. You probably never heard of it, but you have. Ole. Casa Uruguay. And its capital is Montevideo. Montevideo, like video, Montevideo, Montevideo for Uruguay. Okay. Uh oh, my thing came down. That's okay. All right. Now, here we go. Class A. Next one is Class A. All right. Here we have Bolivia. Bolivia. All right. And its capital is La Paz. La Paz. All right. Now, we have here, it's simple. Accent to you. Peru. Peru, and its capital city is Lima. Lima. Oh, you're doing good. Ah, this is my favorite country here. Well, I love this country. Here, class say Cuba. Cuba. And its capital is La Habana. La Habana. Okay. Uh, here's the one for practice. This is one of the most difficult countries to pronounce, okay? But I know you're going to master it. Get that tongue rolling. I'll take it slowly. It's called the Dominican Republic, and people call it the DR, okay? Casa de Pita, Republica. And they say, Republica. Republica. And then we have here, Dominicana. Dominicana. Now, I'll repeat it. Republica Dominicana. It's a little word. Republica Dominicana. And say it as fast as you can. Republica Dominicana. Yeah, it takes practice. Republica Dominicana. Work that tongue. Republica Dominicana. I'm going to see when I come in who can say that, okay? And its capital is Santo Domingo. All right? Say it again. Republica Dominicana. Perfect. Capital is Santo Domingo. Mm -hmm. Now, this is one that I didn't know. This is a new one here. I forgot about it. Class is called Equatorial Guinea. All right? Class is called Guinea. Guinea Equatorial. Guinea Equatorial. Okay? And its capital is Malabo. Okay, and the equatorial looks like the word equator because it does sit on the equator. Mm -hmm. Can I say Guinea Equatorial Malabo? 
Ah, la madre patria, the mother country of Spanish. And that's going to be what? In Europe, which is what? Spain. Mm? El toro. Now here what I say? España. Uh, the N, that's a letter in Spanish. España with that little line. You have, you have to have that little. It's called a tilde. Okay, right there. Okay. Casi España. And its capital is Madrid. Not Madrid. That's English. Casi Madrid. Got it? Muy bien. All right. Who's next? Okay. Wait. Almost at the end of the country. It's casi Venezuela. Venezuela. And its capital is Caracas. Caracas, Venezuela. Hmm? Okay, now this one actually sits on the equator, and it means equator. And that country is, I say, Ecuador. Ecuador. And its capital is Quito. Quito. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. Argentina. Now that G is kind of like a... <laughs> Argentina. Argentina. And its capital is Buenos Aires. Buenos Aires. I'm gonna work on that one. Muy bien. Now Uruguay had a brother, I told you. And Uruguay's brother is Paraguay. They sit next to each other too. Casi Paraguay. And its capital is Asuncion. Mm-hmm. The Paraguay Asuncion. Ooh, work out today, huh? You've been you've been uh -huh, now you're back in Spanish now. Let's get going. And here we have Jose Costa Rica. All right. Okay, Costa Rica, and his, his capital is San Jose, St. Joseph, San Jose. Muy bien. And the last one we have, Clase, is Colombia. Clase, Colombia, not Colombia, Colombia, and his capital is Bogota. You got to say the A, Bogota is his capital. Ole, Clase, you made it. Excellent. Ole, ole, ole. Now, for you... We're going to go over alphabets next. I'm going to spell some words uh, during the next classes, but I'm going to spell these words using the Spanish alphabets. Therefore, you must master these alphabets, okay? There are more. So right now, we're going to just say them. You can't see them. You're going to just say them, all right? I'm going to go A to I first, A to I. Class repeat. A, A, B, B, C, 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 H. Now, that's the letter we don't have. That's the letter in Spanish, the C, H. Then we have D, D. Then A, E, then F, A, F, then H, then one H for G, like a different word bag, H, okay, I do a spell word bag, I use H, okay, and then I'm going to do H, H, H is H, and then letter I is E, okay, let's go, A, B, C, C, D, E, F A H H E. Because you're the advanced level five and grades for um, five and six, I think I'm gonna four, four, four and five. Okay, I think I'm going one more, one more, and then we're going, then we're going J K L M N A O P Q. All right, I'm gonna stop at Q. I'm gonna stop at Q. I'm gonna the J H O T A H O T A. Sing your throat. H O T A. Letter K is Ka. Letter L, L. -A. Now in Spanish, the next there's a double L. There's one L, which is L, -A, but then there's a double L, which is A, A. Mm hmm. Because it is L, A for one L. Then the two L's is what? A, A, and that's a letter. Then you have M, A for M, N, A for N. Then you have N, Y. Now a letter, like I showed you for the word Espana, the little tilde on top, that's a letter in Spanish. N, Y. So it's N, A, N, Y. Then you have O, can't get that wrong. Then you have P, and then you have Q, letter Q. And we'll do the rest next time, okay? So you should master these in no time. Let's go from A to Q. Let's go A, B, C, C, D, E, F, A, G, H, I, J, K, L, A, A. M A N A N A O P Q. Now here's your test. I'm gonna spell an English word, but I'm gonna use the Spanish alphabet, okay? I'm gonna see if you can figure out what the word I'm spelling is, okay? Now I'm gonna go to the M A A A. Okay, four letters. 
M-A. Ah, uh, AA. It's one. It's really three letters in Spanish. Three letters, okay? But it's gonna look like four on your paper, okay? But it's actually three letters. So M A R A A. I'm going to the where? I'm going to the mall. I have letter M, which is M A. The letter A is R, and A A is a double L. Therefore, M A L L spell the mall. Hmm? So your task is to try to see if you can figure out spell a word using the Spanish alphabet. Can I make sure you get that? All right, move in, and you know you can look it up on the on the on your, on your phone anytime. Let's put in Spanish alphabets, all right, so you can see it. But I'll show them to you next week, now, all right? So now, before you leave, I want you to understand you share this with somebody in your home or somebody at your school, anyone you see, tell them, Jesus te ama. Jesus loves you. Adios. Ciao.